Well, thank you for joining me again. And this is the large hike with a bit of a bit of raw sienna, a bit of light red, a bit of lemon yellow. And I'm just gonna work my way down the page. Red, yellow. It's like sort of sort of sunset sort of scene. Um, just caught a touch of the blue there. Just made it go slightly green the yellow, but it doesn't matter. It'll, that'll disappear. A bit more red, yellow to make an orangey, orangey sort of colour. Got a bit dry, so I've just dipped the tips of the water, dips of the hairs in the water, and then I'm off again. Now I'm going to introduce a bit of a bit of blue into it now. So I'm going red and ultramarine, sort of darken it up a bit. Bit of red, bit of blue. Maybe even a bit of burnt umber as well, a bit more water, just the very tips. And only the tips because it's. It holds so much water, this brush. You have to be careful. And then red, blue. Is that dark enough? Put some clouds in. Uh, sort of. A bit like a few on the other side as well. And then what I might do this time, instead of using the tissue, I'll use the brush. Uh, a few more white clouds there, something like that. And one on this side. And as your brush gets dirty, you're going to have to clean it again. Otherwise, you're not going to get down to the white of the paper. Just dip it in, give it a quick clean, and take a bit more off. Remember not to take off everything you've just painted. It's hard to stop when it's uh, when you get going. watching this pool of water at the bottom so I'm just soaking it up now with the brush. And then paper stretched a little so I'm just going to pull it tight. And then just give it a very quick dry. Very tips just to bring all the hairs together so I can just loosen the paint a little bit more. And I'm just going to go brown, red, blue, and then up here somewhere about our horizon. I've just got a stray hair there, so I'm just going to pull that out. rocks up there so I'm just using a piece of card and just, just scraping a few little rocks here and there. A bit 
more will land down this side there, this front left hand side. I say land, it's, it's where the, the water meets the sea. And just dipping the tips in, when the paint stops, stops coming off the brush so easily, just dip the tips in just to loosen it all up. Muddy banks of the uh, of the estuary. Again, just give that a quick draw. Switch to the three quarter flat brush. And I'm going to back into those colours, make a nice dark mix. We burnt on the light red, ultramarine, nice and dark. And then let's pop a few little boats in. That mass down there. in the distance. Big mast on this one, and then we've got that big reflection here in the house. Something like that. Now I'm going to switch to the number three rigger and put a few birds in the sky. And burnt umber, ultramarine, dark colour, so they're sort of big birds like sort of silhouetted. Let's see what it looks like with the mains on. So here we've got our mains on, so if we go and have a closer look at it. Starting as always with the sky. And it was various mixes, raw sienna, light red, um, ultramarine. Sort of sunset-y type of sky. Sort of dark on the, darkening on the, the edges, bit of ultramarine there just to really darken it up and then Using a clean damp brush, take out some, some of the lighter cloud colours. A few more on the other side. And then we've got some nice lighter early down the middle. Coming into the water's reflection. Sort of horizon line landscape. It was, um, it was the dark mix of burnt umber, ultramarine, light red. All the way across and just scraped in a few rocks here and there with the card. Same mix again to do the boats, remembering to 
put the reflections in at the same time. And finally we've got our birds up in the sky looking for a fish. Thanks for watching, I hope you like that, keep practicing. Any questions please ask. Remember this painting, as all the paintings I do, are straight into my eBay store if you'd like to place a bid and help me out. Um, keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.